In this session on ESO for SAP Services, we're going to talk about an SAP system copy. An SAP system copy is a duplicate of an existing system with a different host name and a unique system ID. Clients and customers use this copy for triage purposes, testing, or maybe to validate some environment, but do it outside of the production environments. There are two processes we can go through to actually create this. One is making a storage-based system copy, where we copy the storage layers, the storage volumes that constitute the SAP application. And the second one is a VM-based copy, where we use the virtual machine environment, like a VMware, to actually make a copy. Our offering supports both of these services. As a specific example, we would use the storage-based system copy in conjunction with work we do with 3PAR. That's because the amount of data from a production system is extremely large, but the copying and cloning can be done efficiently and quickly at the 3PAR array level. Again, we support either option. As part of the copy automation process, we orchestrate SAP post-copy automation to change to a unique identity for the new SAP system. Let's go to the console and actually request a service. In the portal, we request the SAP copy service. I will configure that service. At this stage, the system is bringing back the SAP systems that I have permission to work on. And here, I can see there are three SAP systems. I'll select TS1. Now it will bring back the lifecycle actions that I have permission to take. For this one, I'll take the provisioning testing. What this will do is build a provisioning testing copy of the TS1 instance, and the target system identifier will be TC3. Here, I can actually select the size of the target system that it's going to go on to. I can also schedule when I want to actually do this build, whether it's during a maintenance window or some other session time. So I'm going to place the order for that work. After having placed this order, now we'll move over to the SAP Landscape Virtualization Management Platform. This system does a lot of the SAP domain-specific work. We've integrated all the VMware work, the 3PAR work, and the SAP work into this system. So the automations are carried out now in the background by scripts in the orchestration layers. The portal initiates these and drives them. And here, you can see all the steps that are taken when it's creating a virtual machine, activating the virtual machine, and preparing the database for copying. In this case, we're doing a three-par storage snapshot as we finish cloning the system. Next, we'll bring it back up and put those snapshots against the new Tiger system. We'll modify some of the firewall rules and create users that need to exist for the new system. We'll do some configuring of these in the SAP Software Provisioning Manager. And last, we'll go through the post-copy automation tasks that will modify the system and bring it up as a new SAP system. If I switch to the Operations view, you can see the tiers. For one system, it was an SAP NetWeaver on Oracle system. Here it is TC3, which is the copied system. They're all active, live, and available now for the customer to log in. As I mentioned, the TC3 is really a copy of the system, but it's a fully running entity of SAP. Thank you.